everyone welcome back to our channel cooking with babes abroad my name is Mal and on this episode I'm gonna show you how I make a super easy three ingredient sausage roll recipe if this sounds like something you want to try stay tuned follow along and try it also I apologize for looking at the lens and back at myself and back at the lens this is new to me, this way of recording. I promise I'll get it right soon, bear with me. But anyway, back to the sausage rolls. They are super easy to make, three ingredients. So let's get started. So here are the three ingredients needed to make the sausage rolls. Firstly, some pre-rolled puff pastry, some sausages and an egg wash, which is one egg and one tablespoon of water. Just a quick note with regards to the sausages, make sure you cut off the casings and get the sausage out of the casings before you go ahead and use it. So I went ahead and started. I cut the puff pastry strips in three. You can cut it into any size depending on how big or small you want your sausage rolls. So I just went ahead and laid the sausages down on the pre-cut pastry and now I'm just going to just wipe some egg wash on the edges and that'll make the puff pastry stick once we roll our sausage rolls. So I'm just going to get some egg wash on all of them and then I'm going to start rolling. Once you've put egg wash on all of the edges, you can go ahead and roll the sausage in the puff pastry. Be sure you're pushing down the bottoms and securing the edges just like I'm showing you over here. Sometimes when you forget to do that, the sausage just pops right out of the puff pastry when it's baking in the oven. So as you can see, I went ahead and rolled all of the sausages in the puff pastry and what I forgot to record was me adding the egg wash. So what you'd do is you'd grab your cooking brush and you'd just brush some of that egg wash all over the tops. Once this is done, you can put it in a preheated oven which has been heated to 375 degrees and then you just bake it for about 18 to 20 minutes you want to keep a real close eye though you don't want to burn it or you don't want it undercooked and there it is the finished product this is what it looks like after about 18 minutes it's so good it smells so good and it has a nice lovely golden brown color and i just can't wait to sink my teeth right into one of these like I said, it's only three ingredients and it's so easy. I hope you give it a try. As you can see, I was super excited to just sink my teeth into one of these. It was so good. I would have given them two thumbs up, but I was holding the camera. And just another quick tip, you don't have to bake all of the sausage rolls all at once. Place them on a baking sheet and put them in the freezer for like 10 minutes once they've hardened up, you can pop them into a Ziploc bag. You want to make sure that they're slightly frozen though. If you just pop them in a Ziploc bag, they'll stick together and it'll become very messy. So once frozen, pop them into a Ziploc bag and then pop them into the freezer and you can bake them whenever you want. You'll have a fresh batch. I'd like to thank you for watching this video and please go ahead and subscribe to our channel we have tons more amazing videos coming your way if you thought these sausage rolls looked good go ahead and give this video a like thank you for watching